Hi everybody, it's Cheyenne with Wise Wood Apothecary. Thank you so much for joining me here again. Uh, we are about to do the summary video for Alfalfa for the Herb of the Month Club. Um, so yeah, thanks for being here. So unfortunately in Calgary, we've had a bit of a stall in spring and pretty much everything that was growing has just stopped temporarily, including the alfalfa that uh, we were looking at in the introduction video. So, um, I just wanted to show you <laughs> what's here and what's happened in the past couple weeks with it. Um, so here is the alfalfa. Um, it's got its uh, telltale trifoliate leaves here. Um, they're tiny. Yes, I know. I'm so sorry. I wish it had grown more, but um, like I said, something about the spring just kind of had I go to a standstill here. But yeah, so these are the uh, trifoliate leaves down here. So trifoliate means it has three leaflets together. That is the telltale uh, sign of alfalfa. Um, I wish that there were leftover seed um, pods here. Uh, a little bit like this one. This is just a scrap here. But it's actually like a curly little um, pig's tail that it looks like. Um, so that is another telltale sign of alfalfa is they have these curly little um, seed pods on there so that is what I would look for in the spring and uh, summer and even into autumn is the seed pods to make sure uh, that you have the right plant. Um, alfalfa has really nutritious leaves. The leaves are about 18% protein which is a really high plant-based source of protein. Um, they are quite delicious. I absolutely love eating them fresh. Um, as I uh, am moving into spring and my body feels like we should definitely have alfalfa greens by now, I'm on, on, like automatically salivating uh, for the spring greens I hope are on the way. Um, so yeah, basically really good edible. You can harvest the greens, dry them and powder them. Um, to have kind of as a greens concentrate. That can be added to smoothies, soups, stews, sauces, um, all sorts of different things to um, kind of boost the nutritional profile of whatever you're making, as well as add the protein element to it that may not have been there or may not have been there as strong. Um, yeah, so um, I like to eat it fresh mainly, but others um, don't like it so much. I don't understand that part. Uh, dried is where I get some of the questionable flavors coming in. Um, it's a little bit bitter. It's very green tasting, so it's best to be worked into things that are like baked goods, muffins, pancakes, things like that, um, as well as yeah, soup, sauces, smoothies um, in smaller quantities. Um, one of the things to consider is that you got to make sure you're harvesting from a clean, um, healthy environment because we don't want uh, all the contaminants that are in the soil to be into the plant. So remember that alfalfa has a deep, deep, deep growing root system um, that can sometimes be 30, 40, 50 feet deep in the ground. Um, so if you imagine for one second the amount of stuff they're pulling from the soil as well, um, and they store it in the roots and the leaves of the plant. Uh, so that is definitely something to consider when wanting to harvest and eat alfalfa is where is it from? Um, but also if it has the opportunity to be marked by animals. So for instance, this one on my lawn, I can no longer eat because I do not, or because I have a dog now. <laughs> um, and so yeah, peeing and pooping all over my yard is not fun and, uh, you can't eat those plants anymore due to parasites and uh, viruses and bacteria and things like that that could be present in there. Um, and because of the deep root system, alfalfa does not grow in pots. Um, you can sprout alfalfa seeds and have delicious greens that way, but you won't be able to grow it in a container unless you somehow have a several meter deep container uh, at least. Um, yeah, so thanks so much for joining me here again. Um, I really had wished that it would have grown a bit more in the past couple weeks. Um, but like I said, we had kind of a standstill. We had a couple big snowfalls, so, um, all of the spring life has just kind of paused. 
on growth and it will happen again soon I'm sure so yeah thanks for joining me again and I hope to see you around feel free to subscribe or to join our private uh, Facebook group herb of the month club um, and we also have paid for options that go a lot deeper uh, on our website at wisewoodapothecary.com so yeah have fun exploring thanks so much